Welcome to this movie which explains the file's capability of Spark. The cyber drive or the secure drive in Spark is the anchor of the whole system. The reason that we say that it's the anchor because this is what really connects you, your contacts and your data for sharing and for using. When you open Spark you'll see the view that I've got here. You can browse your local files and you can also browse through your secure drive. I'd like you to compare the way that you can work with your local files to how you're able to work with them in Spark. Now here on my C drive I've got many many files. If I click my desktop I have quite a complicated file structure and lots and lots of files. In my documents the situation is even worse. If I want to find a specific file in here I either have to use the clunky external search function provided by my native application or I have to remember which folder it was in or a date or something like that. Now, In Spark I have a similarly complex structure for my files. I've got multiple folders that you can see down here on the left. I have many many files outside of my multiple folders at the root. I also have an interesting tool here. I can break out of the file structure that I've created and I can look at all of my files or if I know that I'm particularly interested in my media files I can go and filter them by my stream files if I know that it was a file that I sent to somebody I can break out and look at only the files that I know I've shared within Spark if I still don't quite know where to look I can go back to my files and I can further filter I say I know it was a document and I can now also search for a keyword within all of those documents. Let's see, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a budget. I s search the files on my secure drive and then Spark lists all of those files. Right. Another feature that I want you to take a look at is in the files sent to me filter. This contains a list of all the files that other people have shared with me. And I can see the, who has shared the files with me, the name of the file, the size. Also, this is a very interesting feature here. It indicates whether or not I have opened and looked at the file. Now, this is useful for me in the context of knowing whether I remembered to review it. If I hover over the file, I can see the message that was sent to me with the with the file. Here's a good message. Notes on profiles. Now this becomes even more powerful when we consider it in the context of files that I have sent to other people. Here I can see who has looked at the files that I have sent them and who hasn't. And this isn't just that they have received it, it's actually they've opened the file and they've looked at the content. It is the grey indicator that shows that a file has been opened. The green one shows it has been sent and received but not opened yet. Now, Something to bear in mind about all these files is that when they were uploaded, during the upload procedure they were encrypted for security and when they were uploaded to the secure drive they were scanned for viruses. So not only are these files backed up but they're also safe and secure from common risks such as viruses, worms and of course system crashes. Now with any of these files that I've got uploaded, I can do a number of things with them that you can't do in your native applications. Let's see, let's look for a picture. Here we go, here's a picture of my daughter and I want to share this with my friends. I'm going to share it with Dimitri. I simply pick it up, drag it and drop it onto Dimitri's name. I can add a message in. Now this is the same message that I was viewing when I hovered over the files and then I click OK to send it. I can use the same action that I just demonstrated to you to share multiple files with multiple contacts. Now I'm going to select a variety of different pictures from my disk and I simply select them, drag them and drop them this time onto a contact group and that sends the three files that I selected to all the people within the group. Now I can modify this. For example, if I don't want 
to include certain people. I simply click on them to remove them. Add a message and click OK to share the files. I'm going to show you now the quickest way that I have to upload documents to my secure disk. I simply select a document on my desktop or in any um, system browser and drop it onto the drop zone. It gives you a nice satisfying splash noise. And here you see the file is uploading. Now I can click here to open my files upload log. You can see there's the file that I just uploaded coming in. I've got a history of all the file actions that I've done today. Notice this one at the bottom of the list is a received file. This was a file sent to me using the um, PC to PC file transfer. This person has dropped a file into a conversation we were having and transferred it to me directly from his hard drive to my hard drive. Now let's go back and take a look at my stream files. Whilst I'm working by fancy listening to some music I simply, let's see, what's James... Ah, here we go, Tom Jones and the Stereophonics. I simply select it, select stream, and it will start to play in the integrated media player. If I open up my media board, I'll see the file here being prepared for streaming. And here, the integrated media player tells me what's playing. So now you've seen a couple of things that you can do with your uploaded files. Um, it's also an easy process to overwrite files. If you've worked on them on your local disk, you want to update the version that you have in your secure drive, you simply just upload the file again. This time you will be asked if you want to overwrite the existing file. You simply click OK and the file saved in your secure drive is overwritten. Now, I'm going, whilst that's uploading, I'm going to go to my mail. I know that this uh, mail message has got an interesting media file attached to it. I'm going to simply click here and this also uploads the file direct to my secure drive. I'll go back to the secure drive and I should be able to see that one uploading. There it is.